For online performance monitoring, data replay involves exciting the plant model through physical measurements of voltage or current at the grid point of connection. It's common to consider voltage, frequency, active power and reactive power as the four measurements necessary to perform power plant model validation. Two data replay paradigms are available with these four measurements. First, replay voltage and frequency and then compare simulated active and reactive power with measured active and reactive power. Second, replay active and reactive power and then compare simulated voltage and frequency with measured voltage and frequency. A natural question that arises is which paradigm should be chosen to perform power plant model validation. To obtain the most insight into system response and establish the most robust parameter estimation workflow, the answer is both. We use both manual adjustments and automated parameter sensitivity to assess and rank the influence of system parameters on system response. Parameters which are identified as sensitive during manual adjustments are excluded from automated parameter sensitivity. Some sensitive parameters may be discounted based on engineering knowledge and judgment. Here we see a plot of the correlation of the plant parameters to the objective function. While magnitude of correlation is certainly a factor for selecting a parameter, sensitive parameters may be discounted based on engineering judgment and the degree of confidence you have in existing parameter settings. Following manual adjustment and automated parameter sensitivity, automated parameter estimation can be applied to fine-tune the response. In this stage, we have observed that solution convergence, when you combine both PQ replay and VF replay, is more robust and accurate than separate PQ replay or VF replay. Parameter value ranges can be constrained in the automated parameter estimation task. Both absolute and relative constraints can be implemented. Absolute constraints are typically adequate for control system parameters, but relative constraints are required for generator parameters. In this example here, you see the difference between the tuning of the manually selected parameters with tuning of manually selected parameters and automatically selected parameters. And you can see that we have an improvement in this particular case. Both models are good, but using the automated techniques improves the response further.